I think it's mostly Queen fans. I, I find that the yeah. the majority of the audience are, are like lifers. You know, they're you people. See a lot of I love Adam signs out there. I see some I love Brian and I love <laughs> Roger. <laughs> yeah. and I love Freddie. The tiaras. Yeah. The tiaras are not yeah. for me. I think I, Adam has been very accepted, uh, and he he really is one of us, and uh, he has a lot of fans in the audience, but also on his solo tours, he has. Yeah, 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 of course. Fans, yeah. And they have merged. I know this for yeah, a fact. You know, right. the, the fans yeah. have become sort of Queen and Adam Lambert yeah. fans now. So mm. it's nice. Yeah. I had, off the I, show know, I had some stuff to do. I had to put an album out yeah. and do my own tour first, you know, coming off of the show. And then, you know, and then the opportunity came up. Yeah. I was actually quite impatient. It's an interesting <laughs> question because I tried to get in touch with you. I don't know if you remember when I was in L.A. doing something. Oh, I forget what I was doing now. But you just made this this track that went on this epic um, oh, disaster the 20, movie. Oh, the 2012, yeah. Yeah, and, we, and I said, you know, we need to talk to him because we should really do something. You know? And I sort of, tr I think I kind of made an overture. And Adam was like, no, no, no. <laughs> I didn't say no, no. I think someone <laughs> spoke for me. Yeah, um, I was, you know, I was really excited. Obviously, you know, this is a dream come true, yeah. and it was such an amazing opportunity. And I, and I, I knew that this was a good fit for me, but it was still really daunting. You know, it was um, that first show that we did, two-hour set, and we had nine days to rehearse it together. So, you know, for them, yeah. that was probably fine. You know, they've been playing these songs, they've been on the, they're, they're veterans of the road, and I was there were half a million people. It's a very, very it's a big lot of audience, material yeah. to learn, you know. I, I knew that I knew a lot of the big hits very well, but then there were some of the uh, more obscure songs, and I needed to learn all the words, and it was just a lot to remember. I definitely worried about that in the begin in the beginning. I think now I feel like we've kind of earned our I've earned my place, and mm -hmm. and we've sort of seen that it is well received, but. In the beginning, I was definitely a bit reserved because I thought, how can you, I mean, Freddie Mercury was obviously incredible. He's one of my favorite singers of all time. And I feel like everyone in the audience feels the same way. You know, he's beloved and um, he was taken way too soon. So stepping into this, this opportunity of singing the, the front man position was scary. Because I, I didn't know how fans would be. And I think in the beginning, there was a little bit of um, controversy around it. Yeah. We're proud of it. We love it. We can still do it, thank God. So I think as long as we can do this. I mean, it's an incredible opportunity. And we never did it for the money anyway, honestly. You know, people go, really? No, actually, we did it because we loved it. <laughs> <laughs> 